Hey everybody, Taryn Shear here, Miss Sparkle, and she's very sparkly I tried today. to dress the part for y'all. Yeah, <laughs> she's very beautiful and sparkly and a very important part of Greenville. So, yes, very important part. So, Taryn, I love so much because she'll call me, she'll email me, she'll say, hey Wendy, I have this reporter coming into Greenville, will you put him up at the end? And I always say yes. And she always can, says yes. Because I love it. Says yes. First of all, I never know what interesting person I'm going to meet. And they're all wonderful. Like all the reporters we've had here. I've actually formed a bond with them. We still keep in touch, some of them. And they come back and visit. And it's just been, I don't know if you even know that. But like, it's just been wonderful you know, for me. Visit Greenville SC. We take a lot of pride in really vetting the journalists that we bring through town. You know. We used to, to be honest, back when we started doing this eight years ago, we were begging people to come. So we would take anyone who would yeah. say yes. And we've luckily grown to a point where now we're really saying, okay, you know, why should we bring you to Greenville? And, yeah. and we're doing our homework and making sure that they're really quality, great journalists that are going to not only come and have a great time, but really produce something that's going to help our bottom line. And that's bringing more people to Greenville and spending their money and going home. It's <laughs> wonderful. We want them to go home afterwards. Yeah. I'm not trying to get them to move here. So don't blame me for all the traffic yeah. on Woodruff. It's not my fault. <laughs> no, but like seriously, it's been a great experience. And Taryn Shear is with, why don't you tell us? Yes, so I am, own a company called TKPR, and we have a small PR firm here in Greenville, and we do the PR for Visit Greenville SC, and Table 301 Restaurant Group, and Artisphere, and some other hotel properties outside of South Carolina, and some resorts down in Hilton Head. Wow. And so, yeah, we do a lot, and uh, our focus for all of them is really getting the national media exposure. So, um, you know, we've helped land clients on the Today Show, and Fox and & Friends, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, Travel and & Leisure, and about a billion others. So. Yeah, she's done an excellent job. We Just, have fun. Yeah, go to Visit Greenville. SC. Visit Greenville SC. Com. Com. And then what little button can they click? There's a media page and you'll see, I won't take credit for all of the accolades. Yeah. That's not, that's not uh, a fair call there, but certainly our office has been behind a, a lot oh, of them over the years. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And if you live in Greenville, you know, it's like every week or so it's like, wow, we've made another national publication or we're getting this attention. If you don't live in Greenville, maybe you've seen some of it. In fact, this is kind of interesting. I have some people coming from the DC area to check out Greenville and they read about the inn in the Washington Post. Thank you, Dina. And um, it just like the ripples are incredible. It's amazing. You know, people always talk about is, is PR dying, is traditional media dying? And I hear stories like this all the time that yeah. people came to visit because they read about it in the Oprah magazine or in Southern Living. And, and that's, that's the point. It works. And it's still, I mean, above all other forms of media and how you consume media, I really believe in the power of what it does. And I actually spoke to Dina a couple weeks ago and she was telling me, this is a true story. She was on a ski lift and met somebody that said, she came to visit Greenville because she read Dina's story, not knowing Dina, yeah. in the Washington Post. Oh my goodness. I mean, talk about coming full circle, right? You're sitting yeah. next to a stranger on a ski lift who's saying, I read that story. It's, magic. And I <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, talk about the six degrees of separation that we have in this world now. Yeah, absolutely. There is definitely something magical yeah. going on here in Greenville. Um, it's a wonderful place to live. I've lived here since 2005. I moved from Chicago and I've seen a lot of change, but how about you? What's your story? I moved here um, shortly thereafter, actually 2007. Uh, my husband did residency here with GHS and we came here sight unseen. We had never heard of Greenville. I had never seen Greenville. He had come down to interview, but I didn't come with him. And, and we came here just kind of hoping for the best and really thinking worst case scenario, it was a three year commitment and we could always go back to New yeah. York. Mm -hmm. And um, well, clearly that's been, you know, yeah. almost 11 years now and here we are. It was cool. in hindsight, the best decision we've ever made and, uh, and unknowingly so but I mean the quality of life here is just unparalleled from anywhere that we've ever seen or visited or lived and it's just you know Greenville is this remarkable place a little bit of the backstory it wasn't created for tourism that's become a, a great good byproduct point. but Very this is point. a place that was created for the people who live here to enjoy their quality of life to live and to work in a place that they love and 
you don't see a lot of cities doing anything like that. I mean, that a lot of places kind of create these inauthentic experiences to generate tourism. And yeah. our tourism has just become because we have a really authentic, wonderful place to live that happens to also provide some really great tourist experiences. Good insight. And we're also very fortunate because we have some natural beauty surrounding us. And I, I feel like people here know what to do with that, to fit in the natural beauty, to have an active lifestyle. The Swamp Rabbit Trail has been just a brilliant idea, brilliant decision, and it's a wonderful amenity we have. It's right out the front door here from the Swamp Rabbit Inn, and it's right out the front door from our inn in Traveler's Rest, and it's 10 miles between Greenville and Traveler's Rest, connected by this bike trail. And there's lots of awesome businesses along the trail as well. And they continue to pop up. I mean, the yeah. Hampton Station area and what's happening out there now is unbelievable. It's every week you hear somewhere new that's yeah. coming up on the trail, which is an amazing story within itself because there was no trail 10 years ago. There weren't all of these restaurants and these places to stay along the trail and breweries. And, and an entire subdivision of Greenville's culture has evolved because of the bike trail. It's Absolutely. incredible. It's and I've ridden bike trails around the country, and especially the Rails to Trails movement. They don't build railroads in beautiful subdivisions or, or thriving cities. I mean, railroads are usually to the side, you know, flat but quieter parts of town, and railroads were built to drive industry. So the vision of the entrepreneurial community here in Greenville just continues to delight us. It really, so, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's like all of the puzzle pieces are there and yeah. now people are starting to discover our little secret, the little treasure that we've known for a long yeah. time. It's pretty great. It's pretty amazing. So how did you get your start in PR? So um, the first job I got out of college, um, by chance, I went into my boss after six months and just, they had a New York PR firm that was, you know, real fancy and, and essentially a lot of smoke and mirrors. And I went into my boss and said, what are they doing? You know, they're not doing anything. And he said, well, can you do it better? And I said, I could try. And he said, what's your background in? And I said, not PR, but I will figure it out. And so he gave me three months to figure it out and kept them on retainer for three months. And at the end of three months, he fired them and I got the full-time position handling the PR and the marketing. And, Congratulations. Um, thank you, wow. thank you. Yeah, 22, it was a, it was a big title. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. and, but I moved here and they actually let me keep my job, but under the condition that I wasn't gonna remain an employee for them, but that I would essentially be a consultant. Mm -hmm. And so really, at the time, I, I didn't realize what was happening, but I was starting a business at the ripe old age of 24. Wow. And, you know, awesome. the rest <laughs> is sort of history. I, I met a young lady who um, brought me into a boardroom to pitch doing some PR for an organization here. And I didn't know anyone in town. I didn't have any friends. We moved here. We, we didn't know a soul when we moved here. And um, in hindsight, I was pitching the Euphoria board to do their PR. Wow. And they had said they didn't have a budget, but that they would really like to work with someone. And I said, well, I don't have any friends and I'd really like to meet someone. Yeah, so if you guys are my way. friends, I'll do your PR. Yeah. And you know, from that really, that led to a meeting with Visit Greenville LSC, which was the Convention and Visitors Bureau at the time. Yes. And I was gonna ask you how you got it's started all, with that. It's all I can I can really trace back everything that good that has happened to my business and that um, but to volunteering for euphoria and that's what I tell people when they come to Greenville and want to get involved in the community the best thing that you can do is really get involved because this is a community that gives back however they can whether it's volunteering for hands-on Greenville and cleaning up the community right that's coming up yep or yeah. volunteering your services and and helping out an organization that can need it this is this is a community where that counts and it's yeah. important yeah, some of the volunteer opportunities that are bike related here, which I just love, Momentum Bike Clubs, it's a bike mentor program that started a few years ago. And then um, there's also a bike repair program in the village of West Greenville. There's some, that's the great thing, right? So whatever your passion is, yeah. I loved food and wine and that's how I wound up in this conversation with this woman that brought me into the board. But wow. whatever it is that you love, you can find an organization to help out. And that's when, that's when it matters, right? It doesn't yeah. matter if you're going to, you're going to volunteer and put your name on something and give 10%. But if you can find something that you're personally passionate about and give them 150% and expect nothing in return, you're you're going to get everything in return. Absolutely. And that's just kind of life in general. It is. It know? really is. <laughs> that's how I mean. it works. So we have a giveaway today. Hey, David. Hey, Kathleen. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you have a question for Taryn, um, leave it in the comments below. But we love to reward our viewers for our Facebook Live videos. And today we have a Swamp Rabbit Canteen. So this is a metal canteen. Hey, Jeff. How are you? 
And uh, if you guys have a question for Taryn, then um, just leave it in the comments or anything you'd like to um, ask, maybe about the Swamp Rabbit Inn or something for Visit Greenville. Um, we, uh, tomorrow we will look at all the comments and uh, we will choose a winner of our cute little canteen. Great for your bike and great for hiking. So thank you, Taryn, so much Absolutely. for being here thank today. Thank you for having me. Um, you'll see Taryn around town. Euphoria is starting to heat up. What, what else do we have coming up? Oh gosh, there's so much. Artosphere, well, Artosphere is yeah. is the next kind of big one, and then you know the the summer concert series starts. I think it actually just started last weekend. Or this yeah. weekend might be the Friday. first Friday yeah. nights, Thursday night. I mean, that's the great thing about Greenville. There's always something going on. I tell always. people that people say, "Well, when's the best time of the year to visit?" And I say, "Well, when are you free?" Yeah. Because we've got 365 great days, and almost 300 of those are event days. There's right. always something to do. It doesn't matter when you want to come. Just come. Yeah, it's a great weekend getaway for a lot of the southeast, um, an easy drive from easy Atlanta to to. and Charlotte. Yeah. And we like to uh, give our visitors like an example of all there is to do. Look at our chalkboard walls, and uh, you know we're here to help. So check out Swamp Rabbit Inn and uh, plan your trip to Greenville, and check out visitgreenvillesc.com. Thanks, Sharon. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next week.